Hi there, um, I'm Lori Britt and I'm one of your hosts this week for the 5 Day Challenge and we're just excited to have you on here and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my testimonial. Um, I'm going to start with some of the health issues I have dealt with my whole life and um, some of the more recent ones that I had right before I started Plexus. So um, I had struggled with um, low blood sugar my entire life since I was a teenager. Um, to medicate that, I would usually eat ice cream um, pretty much every night until I was into my 40s. Um, so we know that's not um, a good way really to medicate, but I'd bring up my blood sugar and it would help me feel better. So um, that was one thing that I dealt with. Um, I also dealt with migraines uh, that were brought on by probably a lot of stress throughout my life. Um, ended up in the ER a couple times for that and um, also dealt with GI issues most of my life and it got pretty severe into my late 30s and 40s where they wanted to do some surgery. Um, and then in 2010, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that makes your um, joints very um, painful and causes a lot of discomfort. Um, and it's also brought on by a lot of stress, stress which I was experiencing in my teaching career. So. Um, and so I was diagnosed in 2010 and we started out on some biologics on Arencia and then Humira, Embril. Um, those would work for a while and then not work very well. And then I ended up on Actimra and then Rituxan, which is actually a chemotherapy drug. Um, I also was taking methotrexate along with that. Um, at the same time, um, as I was trying to get all these medicines in place, I was trying to get relief for my GI issues and my migraine and some other issues and ended up with um, not only a general practitioner but seven specialists and over the span of um, five years between 2010 and 2015 ended up taking over 20 pills a day and um, with my autoimmune disease that came with a lot of discomfort uh, to the point where I had to take pain pills and my body became dependent on those. So. Um, I was approached in 2014 by your co-host for this week um, about Plexus and um, at that point I just could not even see the forest through the trees. I was just um, suffering so much from all the diseases I had been diagnosed with, the um, medication I was taking and there were so many contraindications from my medicine. Um, I would plug it into drugs.com and all these red flags would come up. And my doctors would just say, well, the pros outweigh the cons, so you probably still need to keep taking it. So um, it was really disheartening. Um, I had to stop teaching full time for a variety of reasons, but one of which um, was my health, of course. So um, I was able to substitute teach a little bit and volunteer a little bit, but most of my days I was completely exhausted. I was in a lot of pain and um, my life was just um, a wreck. I was in my early to mid 40s and like to substitute teach, I could only do it one or two days a week and I'd have to save up my energy for those days to work. Um, I had to stop uh, volunteering at church. It um, swayed our decision in actually which church to go to. Um, when I would go shopping, I would have to just go to one store and then the next door the next day, and I would um, use this shopping cart like a walking, oh, like a walker. I mean, I would just be leaning on it. I was so miserable, and I guess I was getting some relief from the medication, but you know, it certainly wasn't the quality of life I wanted. So um, in early 2015, um, my husband came home, and um, somebody had shared with him this phrase that I'll never forget, and he said. Um, you know, there's two ways of living. You can either live long and die short, or you can live short and die long. And it was as if a lightning bolt had come and spoken to me. I mean, just really hit me because that's how I felt. I felt like I was, here I was in my early to mid 40s and I was dying long. I mean, this was not the kind of life I had dreamed of. It wasn't what I expected. I wasn't the wife I wanted to be. I wasn't the mother I wanted to be, I wasn't the grandma I wanted to be, and it was really depressing. It was really getting to me. I couldn't have the career I wanted. Um, so um, I thought about that, and about the same time, um, a lady in our Bible study who was leading it um, encouraged us that, that Lent was coming up, and if there was anything that was standing in our way between us and the Lord, 
um, whether it was gossip or Facebook or, you know, some kind of food or, you know, snacking, that we should really consider giving that up for the Lent season. And um, it just was very clear to me again um, that Diet Dr. Pepper was what my vice was and what I needed to give up. Now, mind you, I had tried to give up soda before, and I will just tell you, it was not a pretty picture. Um, uh, I would never tell somebody to quit caffeine cold turkey, and that's what I did. So I knew from that experience and from my educational background as a teacher of 18 years that um, when your body and your mind is addicted and dependent on some kind of substance like that, that it really is better to replace it with something else rather than just eliminate it cold turkey. So um, another friend had talked to me about this pink drink and it was Plexus. Um, and I wasn't really, yeah, I wasn't a believer at all. Um, I thought, you know, how can something that pretty much looks like crystal light and you drink it once a day and it tastes really good, how can it really do anything? So I was not only a skeptic, but I was a non-believer. And I told my friend Tammy, I'm like, fine, I'll try it because I knew that this might be the thing that I could replace the Diet Dr. Pepper with just for the Lent season because I was just trying to be obedient to what I had felt was laid on my heart. It truly really wasn't about my health, even though I had read numerous articles on the dangers of aspartame and it was beginning to really prick my conscience. So um, I replaced my Diet Dr. Pepper and my Diet Mountain Dew, I should say. So I was drinking three to four sodas a day. So 36 to 48 ounces of soda each day um, with you know eight to 10 ounces of this pink drink, which I didn't really think would work. So after about a week, um, I was like, yeah, it tastes pretty good, and I'm feeling a little bit more energy, and I'm feeling pretty good, but with an autoimmune disease, you kind of have hills and valleys, and I just figured it was a hill, and I was feeling better. So um, I continued throughout Lent. I didn't have a drink of soda. I waited for Easter, drank my Diet Dr. tried to drink my Diet Dr. Pepper on that day because, again, I was just trying to be obedient for Lent, um, and I couldn't stand it my body chemistry had changed so much that I completely rejected, my taste buds completely rejected that sickingly sweet syrupy drink. I couldn't stand it. So I um, tried for a week to keep drinking the soda and I just couldn't. So hmm, obviously the Slim had done something. I had been feeling better. So I stayed on it for a few more weeks and after two months of taking it, um, because of financial issues, I was like, I just can't do it anymore. So I got off of it for a month, and I will tell you, May of 2015 was where the rubber met the road. The proof was in the pudding. Like, I had been on this stuff for two months, I had felt good, I was off of it for a month, I felt horrible. And I was like, this was really making a difference. And so, um, in the meantime, I had read and studied more about gut health, and about what the triplex could or could offer. And so I knew that this was my answer and this was my answer to not dying long, but to living long. And it's what I wanted and I was tired of all the medications and I was tired of the doctor's visits and all the labs and keeping up with all the infusions and the injections and the shots and it, it was just a nightmare. Oh, I forgot to mention I was severely, um, had severe low iron to the point where I had to take iron infusions and B12 shots at the cancer center next to the chemotherapy patients and it didn't really help much at all. Um, so in June of 15, so that I could afford the triplex, I signed up as an ambassador, really just to get the products wholesale and maybe to get a few customers so I could get my products paid for, which we will talk about later, um, and uh, started in on the triplex. Now, I will say before I tell you this part that I don't recommend, and I'm not a doctor, I don't recommend that anybody get off of any medications, um, not to mention all of them, like I did. Um, Plexus is not meant to cure, diagnose, prevent, or treat any disease. So we are not claiming that at all. I should have said that at the beginning, but I'm just telling my story. So um, on June um, 12th of 2015, I started the triplex and very slowly started weaning myself off of all my other medications because I figured that if they had a 60 day money back guarantee, I was going to see what I could do in 60 days. So by the grace of God and the efficacy of 
plexus, I was able to do that. So in a little over two months, I got off of all my medications. I was on all plexus and I feel, I felt amazing and I still feel amazing today. Um, the things that I've experienced, so there's a laundry list. Um, don't drink soda anymore. Don't drink coffee on a regular basis anymore. Haven't eaten ice cream since the spring of 2015. Can't stand junk food like fast food. Uh, eat very clean because that's what my body craves. Pretty much only drink water because that's what my body craves. Um, uh, have perfect lab results and I'm talking lower cholesterol, perfect iron. I had low iron before I had low ferritin. My sat rate was horrible. Um, I have no migraines anymore, no headaches. I have um, no, no GI issues. Now this is from a girl who used to drink Pepto-Bismol out of the bottle straight and Tums, just dump them in my mouth to survive. Um, and they wanted to do surgery on my GI tract. Um, not needed anymore. Um, I know there's other things. More energy, just feeling better, no fatigue. I can live life again. I can volunteer as much as I want. I can substitute teach as much as I want. Um, and I can work this business. So I want to say the business part of it has been such a blessing. Um, are we making gangster money? No. Is it a great source of income? Yeah, it's great. Um, and for the amount of time I put into it, it's paying super well from the beginning. So the first month I signed up in mid June and I had my products paid for. Plus I had a check that first month within a little short of two and a half weeks. So not bad. Um, I haven't gone crazy with the business, but I have worked it steadily. I've worked it every day. Um, I work it part time, not just sometimes. And, um, it's been a real blessing to our family. Um, the other benefits have been all the amazing friends I've met and got to work with. Um, this company is amazing. Their reputation is stellar. Um, their motto, I'm looking at my business card, is be trustworthy, be honest, be reliable, and be responsible. And throughout my two years with this company, that's exactly how they've acted. And I am very proud to be a part of Plexus. My health testimony is amazing and all glory to God. Our financial blessings are amazing. And I would just encourage you to check this out to, um, if you already understand about the products, which, um, most of you do since you're on our teams, um, share that with people guys, people are hurting out there, whether they say it or not. I've had so many people say, we didn't know you were so sick. That's cause I put on my makeup. I got my hair done. I got dressed and I put on my best face possible in the public. But you know what? When I got home, I was a hot mess. I was a complete mess. Um, oh, that reminds me too. One of my other issues I had was some cardio issues. I go to three different cardiologists cause nobody could diagnose me, but it ended up being, um, side effects from some of the medications and from my low iron as well. So, I cannot just even speak highly enough about the Plexus products and what it's done for my life. It's completely given me my life back. It's given Quentin his wife back and it's given Jada her mom back and the grandkids as well. Um, I'm just so grateful for that. So I lead with the product, but guys, this business opportunity is phenomenal. Where else can you buy in for $34.95 a year and the sky's the limit? I mean, honestly, the sky's the limit. There are just a few people at the top in this company. There's a lot of people. When we just went to convention this past week, which was phenomenal, by the way, um, there were a ton of diamonds up there on the stage. They're making six and seven figures. Um, there were a lot of sapphires and, um, and emeralds up there, which those are the top three ranks of our company ranks. Um, and they're real people. I mean, I know these people, they're sweet, they're genuine. They have the same tools as we do. Actually, they didn't have as many because they just rolled out some phenomenal things with the back office. They haven't had all these products. I mean, some of these people started with nothing. Our first diamond started with just our breast check kit. So, um, I didn't mean to go on this long, but I am so passionate about these products and the business, and I am so glad you're here with us on this five day challenge. So thank you and comment below about your favorite part of my testimonial and what really spoke to your heart. 
and soon um, I would love for you to share your own. Thanks.